Hey everyone, James Ferris with The Marketing Show, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to do an abandoned cart sequence in high level. If you haven't heard of high level yet, it's an all-in-one marketing automation platform, and I've got a lot of videos and a referral link for you down in the description below with a bunch of bonuses. Check this out now. So, two-step order form is what we're gonna use. Here's the page, ddxweb.com. The first step in the two-step order form is gonna gather the opt-in. In this case, maybe they don't know the price and they're kind of giving their information to see what that price is on the next page. So if they fill out their company name, their, their full name, their email, their phone, when they click go to step two, that actually captures the, the lead and it captures it as an opt-in event, okay? We'll be able to filter on that in a little bit here. And then, you know, maybe give them a couple more minutes to fill out their other information and they would click create account. That would trigger the order form purchase event, okay? So uh, the key to this is that there's actually two automations. One that gets started on the opt-in the other one gets started when the order purchase is sent through, okay? And if they don't purchase, we're gonna send them a little follow-up that says, hey, looks like you're checking out our site. Let us know if you have any questions, whatever you wanna put there, okay? So here's the key, two workflows. One is the, we call it the abandoned cart SaaS sequence. One, the trigger of that, it actually gets filtered down. I'm gonna filter on the, the site, filter on the page, and then filter on the submission type. You can see there's an opt-in, bump, sale, and upsell, okay? So we're gonna, no matter if they purchase or not, they're gonna, this is gonna get fired. But because they might purchase, we're just gonna sit there and wait for 15 minutes, okay? We're hoping that they purchase. And then on the purchase side of the workflow, here's the, the triggers of the order form submission. One of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna remove them from that other one that's waiting. So we're hoping to, yank them from the other one before it continues on. If they don't purchase, then we want to follow up with our abandoned cart sequence. So it's the interplay between these two workflows uh, that creates the abandoned cart follow-up, okay? So if they do buy, then we yank them from this one. Now, let's go ahead. Now, if you wanna see the in-depth, uh, you know, then just keep listening here because we're just, let's go ahead and build this trigger here. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. What kind is it? It's an order form submission. So it's the two-step order form. And we have the filter of the site. And then it was order form submitted. Um, homepage, right? Homepage right there, DDX web homepage. And then I'm gonna do the submission type is opt-in. Okay, and then I might make that a little more descriptive. You know, opt-in homepage, et cetera. Okay, so that's the trigger. Just making that again, so you can see it be created uh, from scratch, okay? So it's right there, wait for 15 minutes. You can add or update an opportunity here as the opt-in. Uh, internal notification, that's gonna be just to myself. I select a particular user type of myself. So-and-so just opted in, we sent them a text, okay? assign that user to myself or anybody else. And then here's the follow-up text. Hey James, looks like you were checking our site. Let us know if you have any questions about getting started with ddxweb.com, okay? You could also uh, send an email as well, like that. So if you don't get their text or if you don't have, if they don't put their phone number in, or if it's a landline, different reasons, you could email or text there. And then similarly, on the order form submitted, let's just take a look at that trigger. Order form submitted in funnel is that ddxweb.com, page is the home page, and the product is one of those three different products there, okay? And then again, the first thing we do, remove them from the sequence, and then you can, uh, you know, you could grant access to a, a onboarding course, you can send yourself an email, send yourself a text, uh, do other automations, okay? So guys, that is how you do the abandoned cart automation in high level. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help with high level, definitely check out ghlbountyhunters.com. You can get some live Zoom training and help on that, ghlbountyhunters.com. If you have questions that you want like answered on this marketing show, go to uh, themarketingshow.com slash questions, and you can um, submit your questions there. So we go there, you just fill out this form and submit your questions. Um, if you're looking to upgrade with high level and need some help, I got some trainings and things on upgrading to SaaS mode uh, for using my referral link. With that being said, guys, hope you're doing well. 
Hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video. If you're already on the 297 plan of high level and you know you've been wanting to upgrade to the SaaS mode pro plan to take advantage of automated sub account creation and two to 10 X markup on your SMS rebilling, then I've got a special offer for you that I'd like to help you transition and coach you through that upgrade process, including migrating your existing sub accounts to the SaaS mode plan. They're letting me offer you an exclusive discount as well. Let's talk about what you're gonna get from high level on their side of things, and then we'll talk about my bonuses that come at no extra cost to you. So on the high level side of things, you're gonna get automated sub account creation, automated user provisioning, the SaaS configurator, split testing, agent reporting, the two to 10X markup we discussed, the Eliza booking bot, and finally the big one, advanced API access to connect to hundreds of other softwares with Zapier, Make, or Pabli. I'm on the 497 plan myself. I've coached many other agencies through this upgrade process. I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of agencies with the GHL Bounty Hunters, as well as my YouTube channel. Now, here's what you're gonna get from me on my side of things. You're gonna get a smarter review request snapshot, which helps you get more automated five-star reviews. You're gonna get the appointment reminder snapshot. You're gonna get the support portal snapshot for taking those support requests. SMS chat booking bot, private Facebook group, as well as a private members area with SaaS specific trainings also comes with a massive onboarding checklist, right? Here's the store where I sell these snapshots. You would be getting them for free. And here's the back end of the SaaS Pro trainings, okay? You're also gonna get the high level local hero playbook. All of this is at no extra cost to you for upgrading with me today. If you have any more questions, feel free to book a call at the link below, or you can just click here and upgrade right now. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.